This is the Rodale Institute Cover Crop Roller Crimper. It's designed to take a winter annual cover crop like rye or hairy vetch or crimson clover and turn it into a dead mulch on the top of the field allowing us to no-till into it. It kills the cover crop mechanically by rolling it down and then these blades actually, actually crimp the stem about every seven inches. It actually uh, leaves the cover crop intact and attached to the ground making it very easy for the planter or transplanter to come through and, and plant the, the seed or set the transplants. Well you'll notice that these blades are not mounted horizontally in a straight line across the cylinder. They're actually in a, mounted in a chevron pattern where they curve up towards the ends and they sort of follow a twist along the, the curvature of the cylinder. The reason we did that was if these blades were mounted perfectly horizontally across the, the length of the cylinder, they would actually sort of touch the ground and then be in the air and then touch the ground and then be in the air and you get sort of a bouncing effect. But by putting the blades in this chevron pattern, it minimizes that to the point where the blade is continuously touching the ground at any one point in time. The weight of the roller is distributed across a very small portion of the blade as it continuously rolls across the ground. So that magnifies the weight of the blade as it tries to crimp the cover crop. So that's really added to the success of this particular tool. Well, one of the, the advantages of this type of a roller is that we can mount it on the front of the tractor. Now, in order to do that, we went and bought a three-point hitch that mounts on the front of the tractor, freeing up the back of the tractor to put a planter or a transplant. Now there's a couple of points for you to consider when you're looking at a planter or maybe addressing some of the modifications you may have to make to your planter. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have enough weight to get your planter into the ground. Now on this particular planter, since it's fairly light, we went and added 130 pounds to each of the rows. This is a four row planter. So we put some weight on the top of the planter to make sure it can cut through that residue and get the seed in the ground. The other thing you want to do is make sure that you have a good sharp coulter in the front of the planter to actually slice through that cover crop in order for the seed opener to get into the ground. You've got to cut that slit. We follow that on this planter with a set of double disc openers. We find that that works better than a shoe type opener because it doesn't want to clog up as much. Once the seed furrow is opened up, we drop the seed down our seed tube and that's followed on this planter with a nylon seed firmer. And then on this particular planter, we've gone ahead and we've replaced the plastic and rubber wheels with cast iron wheels to give us more weight. Again, we're rolling this wheel on a heavy, dense, dense mat of rolled cover crop. So we want some extra weight in the back, so we put cast iron closing wheels in the back. Every individual farmer is going to have to look at his individual situation, his soil type, his weather, his climate, uh, the crops that he wants to grow, and the cover crops that he feels he can manage on his farm.